New Year and the New Year's resolutions. This is that time、oh. of year when we look back. A year ago, we had all kinds of wishes, dreams, hopes, and aspirations about how well behaved we were going to be with our model purchases, with our painting, with our gaming, and we're going to look through、uh, what some of the contributors to the channel said this time last year, what they were going to do, along with a few bits from me. As we go, good. First video from our contributors then is from Woolly Mike when he was here the other day. Sweet. Hi everybody. Hope you've had a good Christmas.、Um, came up to see the Kaiser in the the studio. My New Year's resolution is I'm painting this lot. <laughs> so, always been interested in the American Civil War. Wanted to get back into it, and this is a great starter set. Look out for videos, or you may have already seen them. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year! So, get his bug, American Civil War, mate. He's and into that. Epic. That, that's his I thing. I feel like he kept that one quiet from me, anyway. He kept that from you.、Uh, what, what, people on the channel only see Wooly Mike as having got involved in the channel more recently. Yes. I met Wooly Mike in two thousand and two when I moved. Some time then. To the Isle of Wight. Twenty years, bud. Yeah, yeah, known him for a long, long time, and he he was always interested in the American Civil War. He's got some six mil ones、okay. already,、um, and we got those Gettysburg things in the Epic American Civil War for review purposes from Warlord. Did that pique his interest even more? And, and I was like, "Do you want this? You know, because I think you might take it and actually paint it in some. Because I've got that Callistra stuff. Yes, you do. I'm not about to do that whole thing again. No." No, you know, no. I've, I've already put so much time into that, so you know, I mean, I'm interested in it, but I've already got the same scale, different style.、Yes. I'm just in no position to redo it. Whereas, so、um, yeah, he's yeah, he's really into his American Civil War. He、That's... he was、uh, he's an American football guy. Well, yeah, I suppose you know, he still coaches and referees. Gonna, yeah,、um, and he, I think he just got into it while it was over. That he'd been to Gettysburg Battlefield、right. and so forth. You know, it's like. Second、like、thing,、so. I mean, it's a cool set. I, I mean, it is a great set. It's a big set, though, Mike. Will he? It is a big set. Can he do Mike it? Mike is a lot more happy for tabletop standard painting, though. Yes, and I, I he like just bashes it out. Those、man. models do actually they lend to that style of painting as well. Yeah, yeah. So I'm looking forward to seeing that, Willie. Let's have a look. A Johnny B's video. So, folks, 2022 is over. Did I achieve my resolution from last year? Did the hell? Two space from dreadnoughts. I said I'd do originally the year before that. I said I'd paint three. I did one. That's good enough. But yeah, forty k is dead for me at the moment、uh, in its current iteration. But I did paint lots of things this year, and I would like to show you via the medium of video what I have done. Please hold. As you can see, I've not painted nothing. It just doesn't involve any space from dreadnoughts.、Um, a few awesome bits that I did paint this year: the War Games Atlantic Centuries. German sentries and the SAS. You see, just in the middle there. Quite chuffed with that because they're going to be on the front of the new box sets.、Um, a couple of miniatures that I painted but haven't had a chance to play yet.、Uh, well, I say that I had a little test the game of Test of Honor at one of the Crack Cons, the Crack Con Two technically, and I would like to play、uh, Dead Man's Hand. Also, a lot of War of the Roses stuff being done. I hope we can play some of the、um, either line rampant, which I will be playing, no doubt with Jason, but also never mind the bill hooks, which looks like a fun system also, plus all the other bits. So I guess out of what you've just seen there, a good fifty percent of that is done with the new speed paints and going back to contrast paints. I really struggle to embrace that、uh, style of painting for some reason. I reach a certain level and I just. I couldn't let go of it. I had to. Everything had to have three layers, four layers, highlights, blah 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 blah. This year, which is going to lead into my resolution, I really want to embrace that style of painting. I've achieved a greater output in the last two or three weeks, embracing slap chop style. You know, pre shaded, using contrast and speed paints, and doing sort of a, a uniting dry brush at the end of that. Than I have throughout a majority of the year, so that's my resolution: to paint more by painting less. There you go. Anyways, back to you, Kaiser. Well, mate, paint more by painting less. This is this is the plan. Hashtag slap job. 
Uh, yeah, it has to be a hashtag slap chop. So yeah, that word's that, everywhere. That that ramble there was basically yeah. just saying that by painting less effort, as in not doing all of those layers and all yeah. those highlights, and just embracing a quicker, faster method, there's not that much difference in the quality. There isn't. There really isn't. And I've really actually just noticed so, that. From now. my sight, there isn't a difference. Yes. Yeah. You That's know. the thing. What I love is John watched his video back there and said, how did I make that so long? Yeah. And then as soon as it's finished, he's proceeded to make the same point again. Did I? All right. About the fact that you were going to, like, just accept the slap chop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which I love that. Um, some lovely stuff there, John. Thank you. And some things you even kept around. See that the Humber Armoured Car is there. Yeah, that was a lovely one. The terrifying Balearic Slingers with SPP oh, on laser guided. seeking laser guided Mate, pebbles those, of death. Those things are a broken unit. I need some more. And then the War Games Atlantic, that was a big thing for you this year. That was fun. And that was through, off the back of you getting hold of Zero Two Hundred. Mm. And thank you for giving me some of your centuries that you didn't make up. Um, and I got to paint them and enter a little competition. The, the, the official box art for the one yeah, in the Atlantic Yeah, so that centuries. was fun. They're going to be on the front. And then and then you got some side hustles in there. I've snuck You've some You've seen in. some stuff in the back there. Not only behind those Perry's Bill and Bow, which is nice to see. Yeah. And you're using that for lying rampant, dragon rampant stuff. Yeah, predominantly, yeah. But I can see some Dark Ages stuff yeah. in the very back. Yeah, they're just, you know, your basic mooks. But I, I do have some Saxons and some Vikings on standby. So I should very be able to... Very nice. Maybe. I would like to do that. That's what I mean. Um, and oh. was it Miller's? Who did that for us? Who sent that through? You won that. This? I won this in a competition from Nick from um, Medieval Warrior Wargaming. Oh, Nick did that? Nick, Nick the Greek. Wow. He didn't do this. His commission painter did this. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. But it's a, it's a, it's a Viking headquarters exactly. base. And it's, it's beautiful. Viking. So um, maybe you can put that with your collection. Oh, maybe. Because oh. then, then it's going to have some use. Because that's been sat on the shelf since I won it, and I've been thinking, what I can need we to re-gift this? this to somebody that's going to use it, because it's beautiful. It is beautiful. So moving on, let's let's have a, hear a few words from Harry, who's been a great friend of, of the channel. I love it. Harry from Fog of War. Oosh. What you got going on? Hello, Harry from Fog of War here. I hope you've all had a Merry Christmas and are looking forward to a Happy New Year. Kaiser has asked everybody to talk about what their hobby resolutions are for 2023. My channel has been a bit up and down. There's a bunch of personal stuff happening. Uh, so my only particular resolution is to try and keep making content. Uh, I can't guarantee it'll be regular. I can't guarantee that I might not try different things, but I will actually keep, try and keep the channel running, keep the lights on. And speaking of which, I'm broadcasting from my new studio, which I've been building this year. It's not finished. Uh, you can't see the bare concrete floors in here, uh, but it's coming along. We're definitely getting somewhere. And that's part of, I've started doing more live streaming with the Table Ready crew, as well as uh, now I can do my streams with the Kaiser and Johnny B from in here. Uh, so that is what I'm going to be doing in 2023. Nothing spectacular. You can see behind me there's a whole bunch of things uh, like Bulge British, Red Dawn, uh, the Chinese Team Yankee starter set, which is exciting. Uh, all that need reviewing. They're all like prodding me in the back and saying get on with it. So uh, my New Year's resolution is to give it a red hot crack. So Happy New Year to all of you. Wow. So loads of stuff to review. He, I mean, says, think... he says he did it in his studio, but I'm pretty sure he did that in his local shop, right? Because there's a lot of stock behind him. <laughs> <laughs> so that's been his big thing for this year. It's, yeah, uh, he's, he's been, been doing he's his... been doing that. And actually, he's. I think I don't know whether at the moment or like last week or something, because there was a bit of COVID in his in his household, oh. and I think he had to move into the studio. Sweet. Uh, so it's plenty of work you know, done then. Um, but, he, but he's been converting his garage or whatever yeah, yeah, over, yeah. over the past year and he's taken it pretty seriously <laughs> it, which brings me to the kind of I know that for the MFA for the channel a studio is the, ne is the next step unfortunately living in Britain land is not cheap land and we is don't not have cheap. spare buildings on our on our on our great holding just, yeah. where, where we live um, so I've been, I've been looking at premises though been oh, looking at premises yeah yeah i mean it's it's all money isn't it and the and the youtube revenue is not great uh, from a channel of this size 
but but at some point I very much have my eye because at that point we can start to make the kind of settings and situation suitable hopefully I, I don't know that I'll be in a studio by the end of this year but it's possible well I would like to see Harry's finished article so we can maybe take some tips from it so Absolutely. looking forward to really seeing nice Harry job. the other thing is seeing you know, Harry is, is it reminds me in the Christmas video we didn't talk very much about Flames of War or Team Yankee we didn't. Which no. is funny because they're quite big games for the channel. Yeah, they are. I know that one of the things I said I'd do last year was get the East Germans done. We were for waiting Team for the book, though. Waiting for the book. The book came out in the middle of the year. It did. I bought the models, so I've got all the metal infantry. <laughs> <laughs> Not a single model has been glued to a base. Wow. Let, let alone most of the blisters are unopened. <laughs> Um, so that is, I am not going to say that I'm going to achieve that this year because it, it hasn't been strictly necessary. No, no, and the the, buy, the hobby. But I think hasn't that, that means there. that we probably didn't play Team Yankee in 2022. So we absolutely need need to fix that. Yeah, brush got, them off. We got the British infantry done. Yes, you did. Um, but that was that was last year, as it were. Technically, oh, time. <laughs> Yeah, um, I think in 2022 we maybe didn't do any Team Yankee. And if that's the case, for the Team Yankee fans out there, Apologies. we did lots of reviews. We reviewed yeah, all the stuff, all the, all the, all that the, come the, out. the big boxes that come out. Um, and Flames, I've not played for a while because I did play a bit with James, James Workshop. Yes, with the Soviet skis. He's a lot busier, his work commitments yeah, are much, much more serious yeah. now. Yeah. So it's quite pressured for time. Well, it, well, he plays with you now and again. But well, he plays the uh, plays the odd game. But yeah. he's in Southampton, right, or something. Yeah, exactly. He he doesn't so, live here. So, um, looking again at Flames of War in twenty twenty three, we're going to revisit the desert. So we've not we've not done that. We've not done that. Um, the other thing is that the British um, infantry for late war. Yes. I've half painted the rifle, uh, rifle section, yes. uh, rifle platoon. Yeah, um, so that's that's definitely going to happen. That's kind of on the like very intimate, uh, intimate, oh, very ooh. immediately on the paint in table. You know, I'm like doing a few. It's, bits it's here on and the go. There. Yeah, I've got the weapon to do now, and it's, oh, uh, it's got a um, 15 mil miniature. I need to get my reading glasses out for that one. <laughs> anyway, so that's Flames of War, Team Yankee. You're going to be seeing a lot more of in 2023. Also working on. Um, as a, as a little segue, is maybe you can grab one and show them, John. I've been working of, on some new fields. Oh, let's try not to, uh, try not to break everything. This is cool. So this is intended to go with your 15 mil terrain range, right? Yeah. Eat that camera, go on, focus on it. All right. You can't. So this is, this go. is a test piece. There's a couple of them. So this They're is not four inch square? Yeah, that's more like a garden rather than a field. Um, that's proof of concept. But it was it was a test piece. You yeah. know how much how much work was involved. I had not accounted for when it comes to make those sort of things is how much space your hedging is going to take up. You know because I put the kind of cultivated land, right. the corrugated stuff for the furrows. So as soon as you put that in, hedge on, about a centimeter. But but actually, I needed to put that further in, right? Because the clump foliage is thicker it than does, I think. It does eat it a fair need, bit. Of it needs it. Real estate. Yeah, and it definitely doesn't want to overhang the base. Looks um, good though. But some of those, so the scenery for the 15 mil in particular yes. is one of the so you things. Can change it up. And I think scenery in general is the thing you really should start to notice. Yeah. I mean, year. we said we're going to revisit the desert for, mm. for flames, but yes. we kind of need a new desert, right? Well, we've still got so the tessellated something. board. We've still got we the, do, the yes. sections yeah. board. But we talked a long time ago about building another. We basic missed. Board. We missed the uh, the finite window of opportunity. The summer of the UK. The two week window. We missed it. Yeah, well, we could do it. Boo! All right, let's hear a few words from Mister Brush and Quill, another long time friend and contributor to the channel. Hi, peeps. So, um, uh, just uh, chipping into what I managed to do this year for part of this uh, MFA channel uh, video. So, basically. Nothing, <laughs> nothing on the uh, the pledges list got sorted, unfortunately, um, for various different reasons. The Indians, for say, it's a research issue. I'm still researching what I should actually be painting because I don't want to just go ahead with any old colour scheme. Uh, the seamen and, and marines for for Hornblower, unfortunately, I got distracted by other Napoleonics. And uh, the uh, Fallout Western Warfare it just uh, didn't really ever get started, to be honest with you. Um, most of the models are done, 
um, I've just got a few more to finish off and I want to uh, to sort that out. So so what did I achieve this year? Well I, I painted up an entire Skaven Blood Bowl team uh, for my stepdad. Uh, I had a few major life changes involved as well, you know, I uh, went in for surgery etc. So obviously that took a big dint out of my time. And um, I have managed to carry on painting various different bits of Napoleonic as part of a commission. So what's 2023 going to look like for me? Well, I'm going to try to finish off that Fallout thing. I know it's the third year I've said it, but this year I think I've actually got a good chance of, of doing around it and getting some uh, battle reports on the channel because it's got a solo method. So hopefully I can actually get some of that terrain I've done and the models onto a tabletop board and sort of play through it and see how it goes. I also want to uh, carry on with the Napoleonic stuff I'm doing. Um, my own personal projects, which is the a certain, I say, I say is Napoleonic, which is the Talavera uh, 1809. I've got like two regiments to paint for that, so hopefully I could actually maybe get a start on that. And uh, the Hornblower, obviously, 28 mil. I think I'm going towards the end of the research for the Indians, so they may get on the table as well. Um, we'll see. And uh, yeah, lastly, just just making sure my channel's a bit tidier, a bit neater. And trying to get some things going in there to uh, tidy things up and, and square things away. So, uh, lastly, just a big thanks to the guys over at MFA for the support they've given me throughout the year. And uh, I look forward to, to working with them and putting out some content for you guys over the coming year. Oh, bless Callum. He, he sounded a bit down at the beginning there, like he'd not achieved anything. But he's done loads. He's done loads and loads of stuff, like Especially most of you. us. That's the, that's the beauty of the New Year's resolution. Yeah. This yeah. year, I'm going to do this. He said, what, you're going to mark your entire success or failure of the year based upon an idea you had on the first of the... No. 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 He had plenty of his Lots successes. Of a big part of that is the 28mm Napoleonic stuff. He's done loads. He's done loads for me. Uh, working on working on the commission stuff. Yeah. Maybe I've forgotten about that because it's not no, directly in front of him. Yeah, he does yeah, mention yeah. it briefly. He does mention but... it a little bit. He does mention it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and 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 it just kind of like I, you know I think I'm I think I'm exactly the same. Oh. All the things I said I was going to do at the beginning of last yeah. year. Are we not all exactly the same? Yeah. Regards yeah. that is that that's kind of part of that sort of hubris, isn't it? Is yeah. you yeah. you you look back on your plans and realise that your plans. <laughs> <laughs> Keep up the good work, Callum. From the channel's perspective, then as I mentioned before a few times, is that we're, we're getting close now to be able to put games on on camera. With the 28 mil Napoleonics, we've got the scenery set. You saw on the Christmas yes, video. That's a nice set. We're looking at the, you know, the the models and mm. so forth. We've been practicing the games. It's just not something I want to do, kind of part baked. You yeah, know, like I want to do it when it's ready. And, yeah, do something. Um, and, a, and a lot of the games down the club. We're, so we're kind of reaching the point where we've got like, you know, the infantry and, and the artillery. We can play a game now. Now we're doing the he's doing the diversifying the forces. Yeah, surely. but what that means is there's going to be like horses with no riders in the next game. And, oh, you know, the, the, we're, we're we're yeah, you know, stepping it up, but not yeah, quite. Yeah, no, no, not quite. So you're not going to see it like in the next few months, but you are going to see it in 2020. Hopefully. Final submission for this video is Mr. Clueless Mike, who's our 40k aficionado. Mm. So let's see how he did against his ambitious target last year. Ooh. Hi there, Clueless Mike here. So, New Year's resolutions. Last year I actually did one which was complete sanguineous and he was a major project of mine. So I'm hoping to have another major project this year. I'm hoping to get Bellacor, or at least the money for Bellacor for Christmas. So I intend to paint him. Uh, it's gonna be a big challenge. He's a massive model and it's one of my favorite models in 40K and I really wanna do it justice. So he's gonna be a big project. Um, other than that, um, my friends and I have started playing Blood Bowl again for the first time in many years. And I've got a new team for that coming. I've got the Lizard Man team coming, uh, so I intend to get that one fully painted up. I really enjoyed painting a previous team just before Christmas. I painted an undead team and it was really fun painting experience. Something completely different to the hordes of 40k models that I normally paint. Uh, so going to get that done and other than that I'm just going to keep on completing armies. Um, my current Imperial Guard army is fully painted uh, but the new codex has come out. There's a few new units I'm adding to the force so I want to make sure they're fully painted so I've still got a complete force. Um, and other than that just probably painting some more red space marines. Let's face it, it's me. Happy New Year all. Who could have guessed? Clueless Mike's goal for 2023 is to paint some red space marines. I mean that's a standard. That's, <laughs> that's, that's like, the I think he's staple that. diet. 
What I love about his collection is that it's just continually growing. And he yes. said there about the Imperial Guard adding those few They're also units red. in. Which are red, exactly. Yeah, yeah, red yeah. and black, mind. So it, it fits in yeah. to his different. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I love that. It's a huge collection of 40k, yes. which is yes. all red. And it's it, it's all red. It's and beautiful. It, he's much more interested in the diverse units, but it also makes him really interested in new kits. True. Because he's got yeah. all the old yeah. ones. Yeah, so um, he wants that. And Blood Bowl! And Blood Bowl! So, and I, I'm not. There's, there's quite a lot of Blood Bowl fanage around MFA. The only person I think who doesn't play Blood Bowl on MFA is me. You. Yeah, yeah. Woolly Mike's into like living rule book. Okay, stuff. yeah. He's really into Sounds that. Knocking on, yeah. Callum's been painting various Blood Bowl teams over the years. You used to play I in the local it. Blood yeah, Bowl Yeah, the 2016 edition, I played a hell of a lot. I've got the new edition, but I've not played it as yet. Right. But there's a few different ways to play now. So with Dungeon Bowl and this, uh, I think Clueless is actually gearing up to do the Sevens, which is a very cut-down version of Blood Bowl. Seven aside Blood Bowl. I'm interested in looking at that. Do you still get a troll? I'm not sure you can have a big guy. Boo! <laughs> but there you go. That, this how... I, I, I used to think the Blood Bowl, look, it looked and felt like one of those games mm. where people, it was it was observed much more in the kind of modelling than in the playing. And yeah. then I saw Blood Bowl League. Yeah. As I get, no, no, there's people playing this every week. Yeah, yeah. We we were quite frantically playing that Blood nearly Bowl every, every week. Every week. The fixtures were up, it was very yeah. exciting and it's and a great compared lot. to stuff like 40k leagues that I'd seen, it oh, held they together. end. They end. They finish. Even it, if you're doing really badly, a uh, few exceptions. Some people yeah, yeah, do drop yeah. out. Well, the retention again. figures were really good. But yeah. Yeah. Really good. There you go. Still not interested in playing it. Though. No, that's fair. But, but Clueless Mike did do did achieve the one thing. He said he was going to paint Sanguineas, he, and he did. He set that bar set really, that goal and he's done it really low. I don't think that that's low. That's quite no. a big model, he's and it's a, a Forge World model. resin he's metal detailed. monstrous kit to be dealing with. Um, and the year before, he set himself Mortarian, which he, owned, which he which did is achieve. now finished. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think that's like in, in his mind, he's getting into that. Like I want to do one massive model a year because now he's going to he's going to go for Bellacore. Bellacore's a new one. He's huge. He missed a trick. I hope he's actually bought. The oh, he's got the old one. metal yeah, metal yeah, yeah, Bellacore. Yeah. Just sort of he's about zoom in. four inches tall. Yeah. Whereas this new one is like a <laughs> yeah it's a beast. Well, good luck, clueless at getting Bellacore done. Yeah, man. I think he'll do it. I think he I will think he'll too. do it because yeah. the other thing is he's got a side hustle and he's got a trick. He's, well, yeah. he's self-employed. Yeah. Electronics factory. He, yep. He's got an entirely separate painting setup at work. Yeah, he's got his, his own his office, man. Yeah. He, he's quite happy. In his own office, he's got all his painting yep. stuff set up. Uh, and that's how he spends his lunch time. Because the last thing to say about that is that, that's, for me, the big one mm. is he talks about completing armies. No such thing. <laughs> <laughs> but the idea of, of not getting distracted by the new thing, but working on the thing that you already have. True. No such thing. <laughs> So with regards to the scenery, to the collections we already have, what are you going to be seeing through 2023? If I manage to hold, hold true, yes. things that have been long-term in the planning, maybe the East Germans, definitely some Team Yankee, mm. just the Napoleonic stuff should start coming through. But just the development of the things that we already have, looking at the boards, looking at the armies. So like from a German Flames of War, I could get a couple of King Tigers painted and just play that game yep. you know, yep. with a couple the of King cats. Tigers. Yeah. I got wave nine of of the world of tanks stuff, so I've got the Yag Tiger in oh, there. Oh, boo! See, see, see if that that could do, you know, or we'll mix it up, and force you out of your fixed platoon formation. Yeah, by playing a desert game, <laughs> make you change it up. Boo! Those tanks, Cromwell's Cromwell's for the win, man. Yeah, that's, that's working really well for you. Yeah. So m m more of that kind of thing. Sweet. I think absolutely. So. That's our New Year's resolutions. Let us know down in the comments what yours are. Yeah. We'll be always uh, interested to hear from you. And we'll be seeing you in the future. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Bye. Bye. Like he hadn't achieved anything during a year. Neither. But a car alarm went off and everything. <laughs> Let's see how long that takes. That might be gone for a while. Yeah. Thank you, Alfred. 161. We need to be quite. We need to be quite intimate for this, John. This 
pro studio quality bit of black calico, Fucking man. Quality. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Hello and welcome. I'm the Restless Kaiser and Happy New Year. And I'm Johnny B. Uh, happy what's it? 